Congratulations, guys, for all three of you. Uh, what does this mean? I mean, obviously, a lot of people watching. You beat Connecticut. You've won, what, four out of five since the break. Can you put, uh, each of you put this into some perspective, this victory tonight? Thank you. Uh, well, it's been uh, in our locker room about you know, the last time we beat Connecticut, and I think for us, it's kind of like a personal indoor, like, let's see what we can do as a group. And I think that after this, ensure that what we do we bring to the table has value. Um, I think our, our 12 can only get stronger, and I think going forward, you only see our group get tighter and tighter, and we're going to be able to stay in a lot of these matches down the stretch. So I'm excited about what we're going on. Yeah, I mean, I agree with Kelsey. It's been since what, 2016, since the Fever had beat? 2021. Oh, sorry, not 2016. What happened in 2016? Four, four for 24. Oh, yeah, four for 24. <laughs> yeah. A lot happened in 2016. <laughs> I was 14, but anyway, I think it's. I think it's a big win for us. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is a team that we felt we hadn't really given a game to at all. We felt, I think especially here, like we felt like we gave one away, but at the same time, we didn't feel like we played like how we are playing now. And then the two games there obviously were about as bad as it gets for us as a team this season. So I'm just proud of, of our group. I thought we came in very motivated, very excited for this game. I thought our crowd was honestly incredible. They were really into the game. Like, that certainly helps us a lot, especially when you need a big stop there at the end. Like, that's huge. It feels like there's another defender on the floor, and I'm just really thankful for that. And um, even though we didn't score a ton of points in the fourth, like, it was our defense, like I said, our defense and our rebounding. Yeah, I think, you know, we're taking every game as it comes one at a time, and to get a win tonight, um, I think, you know, some people might have counted this game off for us, but I know we came in really motivated, really excited, um, and believing that we could get the dub, and just really proud of how our group kind of stayed together throughout all four quarters. Go Brad and we'll go Scott. Got kind of two. Lexi first. We talked earlier today about kind of minutes and moments. You had some again tonight. Temi had some. Everybody kind of stepped up when they needed to. Why has this team just kind of sort of been able to find that as the second half has gotten going here? I think, you know, one through 12, we have confidence in every single person on this team. And I think everybody feels that we have, you know, people so supportive on the bench that when your number is called, when your name is called, and you have an opportunity to, to take advantage of that, that you have your entire team behind you. So it's great. You know, Temi had a really great night tonight defensively, and everyone when their numbers called, they do what they need to do. Second one, Kelsey and Caitlin. Does this team got a swagger now? It just feels like there's a little bit of an attitude this team has found in a positive direction with this last couple of weeks. Uh, we get enough texts and stuff like that to be, I guess, gritty, uh, so to speak. Um, I think that what we bring to the table and who we are and who we're growing and showing to be is just – who we are. Um, I think that what, what Caitlin brought obviously helped, but I think her and her play and utilizing us to like show as a group what we can do is super special. And I think that the swag is going to continue, continue to drip, I guess, because I mean, we're only, we only gelling more and more together. And I think, you know, the style's the limit for us. I think also it's just like a lot of confidence. Like yeah. when you can stack confidence from game to game, like that's the biggest thing for a team and especially going on runs within the game like that's mm -hmm. confidence too so i think you're just seeing our confidence grow um at a different level than it was at the beginning of the season i think that's what's been motivating us the most honestly you know, scott then we'll go with Kane back on the right like so you were flying all over the, the court making an impact especially defensively what was what was your intent there to try to make an impact as, as well as you did tonight Thank you. Um, I would say that's kind of my my role. Um, so respectful. <laughs> um, that's kind of you know a reason that I'm out there is to try to make an impact defensively. And I know I was undersized going against CB, um, and so trying to just be as active as I could, get my hands on as many balls as I could, um, and take advantage of that. <laughs> Caitlin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we done. <laughs> oh, Lex. We go Akeem, then we go <laughs> This one's for Kelsey. Um, just kind of following up on the physicality of this game, there was some, some chippiness there as well, especially yeah. early. I know this took that shot to the face, but how does it feel that the way you guys responded and obviously came out on top? And do you feel like this was a playoff type game, playoff atmosphere, playoff basketball? I definitely do feel like it was a play playoff atmosphere and uh, vibe. Um, I think that the grit and the, and the style of play that you saw from both teams is what you're going to continue to see for the rest of the season. Um, the playoffs is important. Um, you know that. We all know that. And so you're going to continue to see that gritty kind of play. But um, I told our group earlier, I was like, I don't care what happened in the game, but not being, bu being bullied is not an issue. We're not going to be bullied today. And so for us, it was about making sure we stay confident. <laughs> and so like, don't let nothing just happen to you. Uh, we know how great these teams are, but, you know, we got confidence in ourselves too. So. Go James and Tony. 
Chelsea, for you, obviously, you've been cooking as a way. You've been a scorer all your life. But what does this level of play feel like when it feels like we're watching it? Every defender is a mystery. Uh, I don't know, man. I I just try to stay focused on what matters. Keep the main thing the main thing. Um, utilize my team in the process. But right now, it's about winning as many games as possible to get that playoff spot. So I'm excited about where our play individually as a group, as a group, and individually where we can all go. Um, but the main goal right now is to come to Zoom. We got Tony, then we got two on Zoom. Like, see, so this stretch where everything's kind of been clicking for you. Did, you. did you change something in your game day routine, or do you feel like you're just in a group right now? Yeah, same the same. She started yeah. hanging out with me more. Throwing <laughs> <laughs> off on me. <laughs> some are good, some are bad. <laughs> uh, we'll go Willie, then we'll finish up with Michael. Willie, go ahead. Thank you. I have one question for if I can get Caitlin and Lexi to comment on, comment on this. If you look at the entire season, the improvement of the team, all the players have had really good games, a couple of off nights, but the model of consistency since day one, would it be safe and fair to say offense, defense, leadership in the locker room is the lady sitting to the left of you? For sure. I mean, this is somebody that's been this with this organization for how many years? Oh, six or seven? Yeah. Seven? seven? Seven years. So, I mean, if anybody deserves this, it's definitely Kels. Like, she comes in and works so hard. She's always been a constant voice. And even when she was hurt through training camp in the beginning of the season, like, she was somebody that was right on the sideline coaching us, talking to us, and especially for myself as a rookie coming in here. Like, she was always a very positive voice in there and very supportive. And um, for me, like, that makes you feel very welcome coming in as a rookie. And getting to play with somebody that's been really, really good for this organization. So I just feel very lucky and fortunate because I know that's not every situation for, for a rookie. So I'm, I'm just very thankful. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just would have to second that. Um, I mean, obviously coming in with Kelsey for the past few years, she's been a solid, a solid performer, a solid teammate. Um, and I know every year hasn't been easy for her and to see, you know, her just grind out every season, and to be where she is today, I think playing her best basketball, being the biggest leader she's been, um, I, I think she'll, we'll go as far as she'll take us. So just really thankful that she's here and really thankful for you know how she's playing and the type of person that she is. Last one, Mike Vopel. Yeah, thank you. Um, Caitlin, I was wondering if I could have you comment on two things. First, the, the rookie record for three-pointers. So you got that tonight. Um, just – how happy you are with being able the, the way you've been able to sort of transfer that, that part of your game to the WNBA. And if I could ask you to maybe brag a little bit on Kelsey a little more, she's the first player in this organization to ever have five straight <laughs> games of 20 points. You know how hard it is to put those type of games together. I just wonder if you could comment on those two things, please. Yeah, I think the, the three point record is cool. And um, I think it just speaks to the way we play offense and the way we've been playing offense, especially as of late, like just fast up tempo. Um, I feel like I've de I'm definitely capable of shooting it a little bit better. Like I feel like I've gotten some tough roles over this over this course of this year. But um, even that last one tonight, like I felt like it was in. I wanted to really upset me a little bit, but um, I still feel like I'm shooting it well. I feel like I'm taking good shots, and that's the most important thing for this team. And um, and then Kels, like you know, like you said, is it four or five in a row where she scored over 20? Like that's really really hard to do in this league. Um, in my eyes, she's one of the most underrated players. Um, I don't think she always gets enough credit for what she does. Um, like, and every night for her is very, very consistent. Like you, like you see, um, she shows up, she performs, she does what she does. Um, she's always somebody that I can count on, and it's been a lot of fun to build our chemistry over the course of this season. I feel like since the break, you've really been able to see it thrive um, with me and her at the one and two spot. So it's been a lot of fun for myself, honestly.